With, with respect to skills, it's important to understand that skills are fungible. That is to say, or job descriptions are fungible. Employers have scope to adjust. Alicia Modestino, who is a colleague of, of uh, mine at, at, at Boston at Northeastern, has done very good work using burning glass data. And sh it shows that when the labor market is loose, employer job requirements go way up in terms of experience and education. And when the labor market is tight, employer for the same jobs, employers ask for less because they can't find people. Somehow they get the work done. And so there's choice here. There's human agency about how we define a job and who can do the job and who can get into the job. We're not becoming a labor market of Uberized people or freelance people. The number, although all of us in this room, I'm sure, Uber like crazy. In fact, less than 1% of the workforce works, gets their jobs through an app, through an online app. It's just not important out there. The number of independent contractors is not exploding. It's been relatively steady at about 10% of the workforce, and it's not exploding. We're not becoming Uberized or free agent. There is a change in the relationship between people and their employers, though, not necessarily for the better. Uh, employers are more willing to lay people off than they used to be, on the one hand. And there's evidence, although I have to say the evidence is not great, there's evidence that employer investment and training is declining. Uh, there's anecdotal evidence on both sides. You can read about Amazon or Amazon training, you know, providing tuition assistance or Walmart Academy. But you can also talk to a lot of job training programs at community colleges who can't get employers to answer their phone calls about training programs. And the data, to the extent that there are good data, implies some decline. And employers are outsourcing more work, contracting out work, which puts, in some cases, downward pressure. So the, the employment relationship is changing and, and needs to be thought about. Um, so those, I think, are the kind of the main headlines in terms of the structure of the labor market. Each of those headlines then raises questions about policy, about training, about how you work with firms and try and turn some of those trends around, and we'll, we'll get to the policy.